Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu's. So in our last episode, we went to war against the inter interstellar Vem Commonwealth and their allies, the Apoglec Confederation. And we're looking to seed all of their satellite territories just so that there's no weird-ass fucking border gore. I mean, there's always going to be weird-ass border gore. Look at this. Look at this mass of Empire of Love intermingled with the Gagasi and the Quepulchi Citizen Union. It's like some kind of like weird ass gelatinous blob orgy. It's disgusting. It's the it's the smut of um fucking degenerates. But anyways, let's continue on with this war. It shouldn't be too long now. And I I'm not quite sure when the crisis is going to happen, but I think it's going to happen soon. Should we just wipe these guys out? Might not be a bad idea, I mean, they're in the process of trying to retake their planets. But maybe we can take over their planets faster than they can take them back. The Entente Coordination. Amount we contribute towards the Federation naval capacity counts for twice as much. We'll take this! Um, but now that we've already got Synthetic Evolution, what should we go for? I'm actually leaning towards Galactic Force Projection. That way we get a much higher naval capacity. Or even Defender of the Galaxy, because I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. Um, I know how to fight the Unbidden, but I really don't know how to fight the Praetorians. And I don't think the AI Rebel is going to happen. Or we could even go for Galactic Contender. How about we wait a little bit? And, and then we'll leave this here, we'll, and then we'll come back to it later. If we feel like we need more naval capacity, we'll do, you know, Galactic Force Projection, obviously. But then if it feels like the um, Crisis is too unmanageable, it's too difficult, then maybe we'll even go for Defender of the Galaxy, which is... Kind of becomes very useless once we do defeat the, um, the Crisis, but... Eh. It's okay. It's okay. Everything in this game is situational, right? It's not. I mean, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. I guess that's the situationalness. Uh, the situationalness of the game is situational. Why am I getting more energy credits? Okay, it's because I put those planets into sectors, as opposed to just trying to directly control everything. Got it. You guys want a migration treaty? Let's do it, fungus people. Let's get your disgusting mushroom bodies into ours in the most sexual and pleasing of ways. Bapish? Let's land on this sucker. What you want, bitch? Oh shit. That's actually a fairly sizable Federation fleet. Enemy it's definitely bigger than ours, right? I'm assuming, of course. But maybe we should blast them in the ass. Yeah, let's do that. Let's actually blast those guys in the ass. We're coming for you, Federation. We're coming for you. Where, where you is, son? Aw, oh, damn. They took back Zoyerch. And we have fulfilled our mandate. Fantastic. So we get some extra inf infidel? No, influence that we don't need. I don't know why I uh, almost said infidel there. But I think it was actually because I've been playing a lot of CK2. So naturally, my tendency is uh, leaning towards calling everyone an infidel. Ah, jeez. They've moved back, back over here. Or they're moving here. They're actually moving there. Okay, good. So, I think we should be able to intercept them. Nice! Haha, <laughs> you bitches! Did we just lose two cruisers right off the bat? Or is it because we were replenishing them? We did lose some. Situation log updated. We... Uh... I don't like what's happening with this Navy cluster. Why don't you guys just, you know what, I don't think we need you guys to stay in orbit because I think we generate enough energy to be able to support you guys without having you in orbit. Let's go with food production. Maybe we can turn some more farms into um, energy things. Okay, so we need some more battleships if you guys don't mind. So we got two coming over. So that'll be 76, 78. 80 and then just build some more cruisers jeez land is i forgot that we lost all the uh, spaceports here that's why uh, okay so we got uh 70 cruisers currently 
Or at least once we get everything there. This will be 74, 76, 78, 80, 80 cruisers. Ah, ah, ah. I think I make that joke too often. Hey man, I'm learning to count, so don't judge me. I need the count to help me uh, learn how to count. That's why I keep uh, quoting the count. Because I'm still learning how to count. Situation log Numbers? How do they work? It's like magnets. I don't know how they work. Or at least, um, whatchamacallit, the insane clown posse doesn't know how magnets work. Am I implying that I'm smarter than the insane clown posse? No. I'm not implying anything. I have no idea. I don't know how their brains work. Just like they don't know how magnets work. But, oh well. I think for our next tradition, maybe we should actually go with Harmony. I know we've got Supremacy started, but I'm not so sure that we necessarily need to really bulk up on this just yet. So I say we go with Harmony. That'll increase population uh, everywhere, which is going to be huge, I think. And then we'll, um, governing ethics attraction. I think it still hasn't been fixed, so, um, I'm not sure if, you know, investing in that is really going to be worth it. I was really hoping that I could, um, record this, uh, with the 1.7.1 or 2 patch or whatever. But, um, you know, that patch is still currently, at the time of this recording, is still in um, beta, so not really much I can do about that. That and uh, by the time this recording comes out, or this episode comes out, I'll probably be away on vacation for a week. System survey so I'll be back on the Sunday, which means that everything from uh, this Sunday to next Sunday will have been pre-recorded. And thus, if you had suggestions, if you had complaints, I won't really be able to act on that. And I should have mentioned that before, but I'm terrible at uh, figuring out which uh, episode is going to land on which date. So that's kind of my excuse. So, <laughs> if it seems like I'm ignoring your or not listening to your comments or suggestions, it's because I'm away and I'm I have to basically pre-record two weeks worth of um, episodes so yeah sorry guys but once I come back I should be able to integrate any suggestions or comments that you might have but who knows by that time maybe it's already too late maybe if I've uh, finished the game by then or uh, fin finished the campaign by then or maybe I would have died off to some onslaught of either Prithorians or um, what the fuck is this oh jeez Alright, we just finished integrating the, uh, Tuxkins. That's why, I see. Right, Tuxkins? We're gonna have to put you guys into sectors. As much as I hate sectors and their ilk, it's gonna have to do. And we'll build the defense armies. Uh, the reason I don't go for the robotic armies is because they cost a lot of energy. Even though... Yeah, but they cost about the same time to build. They're not nearly as strong as the actual defense army. I mean, they've got more health, so they can last a little longer, but... I think beyond that, no real benefit to going with the robotic defense army. And... The last one. Sorry, this isn't the last one. We've got their capital here, Tuxka. Of course. Of course. Tuxka, I'll let you guys, um... Be affected by the... The fuck is this? Why aren't you guys... Affected by the mod? Why aren't you guys building your shit? Upgrade your shit! Your sacks of shit! Actually, here. Um... This might take a little bit of time, and I apologize for this, but... What we're gonna do is we're gonna replace all these things with the proper... Um, buildings because the AI just does an absolute fucking shit job with this it is the worst ever uh, the food yeah I think we're generating more than enough food to get by so let's just make you guys go power plant instead 
Like, why build energy here and not mineral there? It's like... What the hell, man? What, what were you thinking? AI, what were you thinking? Oh, uh, we'll, we'll keep the... The uh, military academy. That's fine. Excuse me. That was a rather vicious burp. Um, hope that didn't come across in the recording. Uh, clone vats, uh... Not a big fan of them. I don't really use clone armies that much. Not since they failed to kill all the Jedis, but you know. Um, let's go with power plant, I guess. Yeah, we're definitely replacing you with a power plant. Two energy as opposed to one mineral? Can't miss that up. Like, seriously, why did you build a mineral thing here and an energy thing there? Like, what the flying fuck? Does the AI just not know how to optimize this shit? Sector AI is just has always been garbage. And I know I complain about it a lot, but it really does make a big difference. Because the game, the, the, the AI relies on Sector AI to get shit done. And if they're not doing a good job here, then guess what? Uh, they're, it's all headed to shit. So I apologize for, you know, kind of taking your time up by doing this menial crap, but I feel like it's kind of necessary, so we're gonna do it. And if I don't do it now, if I try to do it in between episodes, I'm gonna forget. Because I actually forgot to rename the, um, you know, that, uh, that sector. Or that planet with um, with an elder god's name. So, like I said, I just constantly forget shit. And if I don't do it when I say that I'm going to do it, I will never remember. My memory is just absolute garbage. Ask my girlfriend. She just... I guess it uh, it bothers her. Uh, that's, that's all I'll say. It bothers her. <laughs> she gets very annoyed at my um, terrible memory. I have very good long-term memory. Like, my long-term memory is impeccable. I can remember shit that um, happened, like, ages ago. If, if I'm actually able to imprint it into my memory. But that's a big if. If I don't imprint it into memory, good luck. Good luck. Um, I actually, once while I was driving, I forgot how to drive. I was like, for a second, I just kind of like, whoa, where am I? Like, what the fuck is this? What is this thing that I'm in? And then for like a full, like, three seconds, I was like, Oh, jeez. How am I supposed to do this thing? <laughs> and no, to answer your question, I'm not on drugs. Never have been. Um, so, <laughs> it's just... My brain just does weird things at times. But, uh, that weird thing with the driving has never happened since. So, if you're listening and you ever want, ever get into my car, don't worry. I don't think it'll ever ha happen again. No guarantees, but I don't think it'll ever happen again. Besides, I'm still alive. Unless I am actually a brain in a jar and I'm just imagining all this thing. All this because I actually died that day. Who knows? It could be. Look at this. They're not using the Batharian stone. Like, what in the world possessed you to not make use of that Batharian stone? AI, what is wrong with you? Good grief, my son. Son? Why do I call this thing my son? Why not, right? And we we'll build the power plant there, I guess. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. We'll place that too. There we go. Oh, you actually built an, built an autochthon. I don't know why you built it on top of the science place and not on top of the empty place. But, yeah, cool. Um, makes a lot of sense, AI. It makes a lot of sense. We'll build the Autochthon thing there. Or you know what? Fuck that Autochthon thing. We won't build that shit. Let's build that crap. How are you able to build a Batharian power plant on top of a place where there's no Batharian power plant? Oh, you know what I just realized? The AI is still using the old system. Somehow, the AI is still able to exploit the old system... Where Batharian powers, or where the Batharian stone was actually a strategic resource. And as long as you had Batharian stone being generated anywhere, you could build Batharian power plants anywhere. So I'll keep this, because it's a relic. 
It's a little gamey, I guess, but you know what? The game brought it on itself. It's not my fault. It's, it's I'm just making use of the system that the game has left me, so I'm not at fault here. And let's build the uh, You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to demolish that first off so that we can get the um shit building right away as opposed to having to wait for it to finish and then having to build it later on. So let's go with the energy grid. We'll build the uh, talkthon here. More m energy. This is this is what the entire episode is now. I'm just undoing the AI's mistake. And we'll go with, I guess, a mineral silo. That's fine. Okay, we're almost there, guys. We're almost done with this garbage. We're not. We're not done with this garbage. This this garbage is never gonna get done. No, not at this rate. Nope. No, sir. It's never gonna get done. The AI has has fucked up too much. It's just there's there's no way around this. This. You know what? I'll just shut up. Put my head down on the grindstone, or put my nose to the grindstone, I guess, and just get this done rather than complaining. That's my guarantee. I tried. I tried to not complain, but I can't. I can't hold it in. It's just. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll actually shut up. Well, I'm not gonna shut up, but I'll just, you know, stop complaining at the very least. I think you guys have already... You guys are probably sick of my rant about the um, AI and all its uh, faults. It's not to say that, you know, I I think I would be better at... Um, what the hell? This place is completely empty. Oh, this is what you took from the Havariga. Of course. They also did a shit job. We can... Oh, you, we can replace this. Okay, good. For a second, I was like, wait, we can't replace it because there's no population on it? That's not true. At all. A uh, biolab on top of an engineering thing? Whatever, I don't... I'm not that picky. A little bit, but not that picky. And we'll go with... Um, let's go with minerals. That's fine. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm... Although, I'd like to hear, I mean, like I said, I, I, by the time of this recording, I'll probably, well, sorry, by the time this recording comes out, I'll probably be away, so I won't really be able to act on your suggestion, but I'd still like to get some idea um, as to what you think our next Stellaris sh series should be. I'm leaning towards having a spiritualistic, um, authoritarian playthrough, so it's going to be... Not the polar opposite of the first playthrough that we had with the um, with the Unity DLC, which was the Fanatic Purifiers. Um, so the xenophobic uh, militarists. So I think, actually, it's not it's not anything at all. So I guess the um, spiritualistic um, authoritarians would be somewhat opposite of what we're playing now. The xenophilic uh, materialist. So we'd be going with spiritualistic, um, authoritarian or egalitarian? I don't know. I'm leaning towards authoritarian because I think that might be interesting. And then maybe we can revive the uh, star spawn of Cthulhu, or spar sorry, the Cthulhu slash the star spawn of Cthulhu. It's one or the other. It's not both. I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, like I said, I won't. I might not be able to act on your um, suggestions right away. But regardless, I will be checking comments, and I'd love to hear what you guys think about um, what you think we should do. So please, leave your comments, leave your suggestions. And uh, if you want to complain about me complaining constantly about the AI, do that too. I probably deserve it at this point. But, you know. I'm sure for those of you who have played, you know, Stellaris, you can probably agree with me on this whole um, AI not doing a good job of building stuff in the right places. Am I the I'm, I might I must not I must not be the only one though, right? I'm sure there are other others out there who have experienced the same issue. Let me know if you guys have, or let me know if I should just shut the fuck up about all this complaint or all this AI stuff, because I'm not a programmer. I mean, I know how to write some scripts and some code, but that's about it. Otherwise, I mean, this whole row has been pretty good, but could have been just luck. Who knows? 
Then again, I think the AI does at times make concessions um, and build stuff on places where it shouldn't be built because they lack the resources. So they probably had to justify it. Like, you know what? This place isn't really suited for what we're building here, but we're going to go for it anyways because if we don't, we're not going to be able to get this resource anywhere else, which makes a lot of sense to me, but oh well. All right, great. So Tuxka and all of its um, surrounding environs should be completely, completely ready to be um, swallowed up by a sector. Tuxkali. Let's set you as the sector um, capital. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Keep doing it. Keep putting those into sectors. Oh, yeah, baby. Um, we've got these two. I don't know where they are, though. Where are you guys? Down there. Good grief. What the hell, guys? Oh, this is Havari. Oh, shit. This is the former um, capital of the Havariga. Of course. Of course a horse. Of course a horse. Wow, that actually took like 20 minutes, and I'm really sorry about that, guys. I genuinely... I, I'm very sorry about that, like seriously. <laughs> I didn't think it would take that long, but... If I didn't do it, the AI, AI would have screwed up anyways, and I'll... I'll shut up about it. You know what? One episode full of complaining about the AI... I think is justified. I think is justified. I won't complain about this again. Okay? For the rest of this series... I'm not going to be complaining about the AI and its shitty ass building again. I promise. Enemy planet secured. And this time I'll actually hold on to my, like, keep on to my promise. Probably. Maybe not. Who knows? If I forget, then, uh, yell at me. What are you guys... Are you guys are just going around blasting my mining stations, stations and shit. That's fine. We're still, unfortunately, over the... The refill, whatever the supply limit so I'm kind of wondering if maybe we should put some more places into sectors like Zempek isn't necessarily a very strong planet so I think we can actually afford to put Zempek into a sector yeah it was colonized by us I don't know why I decided to keep this into um, keep this under my own belt here as opposed to putting it into another sector mm. where are you Pluton there you are Fantastic. And I think the, um, the auto build mod will get these guys. What are you doing? Why aren't you building shit? Build shit, son. Uh, let's have you guys auto build as well. We might as well. Let's auto build. Turn on space stations. Bing, bang, boom. There they go. Oh, target not found. Um, Construction complete. Wait, System why is the target not found? Why aren't you guys building shit? There's a shit ton of places where you can um, build stuff here. Why aren't you guys acting on it? Eh, whatever. Right, so fix this is not quite ours yet. Because we need to bombard the hell out of it more. Right, 92%. I think this should be the last planet that we need from these jerks. And then we'll be able to seed all a whole bunch more of their shit. Which means that we have to put more planets into sectors. Unfortunate. But, Enemy oh well. Secure. Them's the spoils of war. Xenix? Sure. Xenix sounds like the name of some unreleased console by, um, by a development uh, team or development uh, company that went under. Buy Xenix now with... Evading Better graphics than your turbo graphics. Maybe. Where are you guys? Husk squadron. Garbage. What are you guys? Also garbage. Oh, okay. I guess the other guys read somewhere else. Fine. Whatever. Be that way. Okay. So now the construction ships are going around building their shit. Fantastic. That's good. Ah, uh, the them. I guess they're here to research some shit. Complete. Fair enough, as long as you guys aren't colonizing or building shit on my shit, I'm okay with that. Although, 
these desert planets. Might not be a bad idea to get these things colonized. Let's just go straight up with the synthetics, because they're better at everything. Naf Anas. That's fine. We'll just keep the legacy names. I'm okay with that. And... Research complete. More of you guys. Thank you. Oh, another Naf Anas. System ah, jeez. Okay, we're going to have to rename those planets. Or not. I mean, it doesn't really matter one way or another. And that's it. Bing, bang, boom. We've won the war against the interstellar Vem... Whatever. Yeah, let's go with... Um, yeah, sure. Neutronium. Whatchamacallit. Should we colonize these planets? Might not be a bad idea. We should... Uh, yeah, we should probably do that. And... Okay, so these dudes... Let's take a look at them now. Oh, jeez. There's gonna be more shit for me to have to undo, isn't there? Actually, maybe not. It seems like the AI has actually done a decent job here. Not complaining. Not complaining. I'm actually complimenting the AI here. You know what? I think this is good enough that we'll just leave this as is. There might be some farms that I'll probably um, get rid of and whatnot, but I think I'll probably do that in between episodes, so I'm not boring you guys to tears. My ranting and raving and all that shit. Alright guys, uh, why don't you guys come back home? First battle group. Oh, we integrated you, right? Okay, I see. Uh, first battle group, just stand down. I don't think you guys are really all that necessary. Besides, you're gonna... Your fashion is gonna clash with our... Pre-existing fleet anyways, so I'd rather not have you guys... Uh, uh, you know... It's like showing up to the party... Wearing the same clothes. Kind of, but not really. Actually, not at all. It's like wearing the wrong clothes. Which makes me sound a little elitist, but... That's how it works, you know. It's just... The, the entire universe is just one big, um, I don't know, staple bully movie where eventually the scrawny nerdy kid beats up the bully or makes friends with him or something or sets his house on fire and kills his entire family. You know, the usual trope, the usual stuff that we all um, have watched at one point or another, probably at, in the school because they wanted to you know, stamp out bullying, which is a valiant effort, but I don't think those movies actually go beyond their um, surface entertainment value. At least, not when we used to watch it as kids, anyways. Yeah. Construction complete. That's my guess, anyways. We'll see. I don't know what I'm guessing at, but I don't even know what I'm talking about at, at this point now. I've just completely blacked out and um, I've resurfaced. And lo and behold, I'm talking about some random ass bullshit that no one knows, um... No one knows anything about. Fair enough. And the science places aren't that big of a deal. So I think we'll just leave those. And we'll go for mineral silo, because I think in the past, mineral silos have been pretty handy. So we'll keep those as is. Replace the farms for sure, though. And we are hemorrhaging money! Because we can't afford to have all these things into in our what you call it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end the episode off like a minute or so early, and in between episodes, I'll set all these to build the right stuff, and then once we do, we'll come back, and then we'll um, I'll have put these guys into a sector and all that shit, and um, we'll just carry on from there. All right. So um, apologies again for the rants. Apologies for the constant bitching about the uh, sector AI or in what or the AI in general but I promise past this episode no more all right just this one episode and then that's it in the in the future I'll just deal with it I'll cope with it I'll I don't know maybe um, get a lobotomy or something so they don't get so stressed out about this shit but I'll deal with it so again I'm sorry I, I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm so sorry I can't even talk properly yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys, but, uh, you know, just, just ranting, and I need someone to hear me, so, anyways, um, that's gonna have to be it for this episode, we will see you guys again tomorrow for some more Stellaris, where I will definitely be complaining less, I promise, I guarantee you, so for now, thanks for watching, and have a good breakfast.